These four letters of DNA represent the alphabet of your genetic code, C, T, A, and G. But every time we use these four letters in our DNA, they really represent a specific chemical structure coded here in the nitrogenous base. Put together in sequence, many deoxynucleotides, these individual nitrogenous bases are part of deoxynucleotides that build up what we call deoxyribonucleic acid. Now that name can seem complicated, but it's really intended just to describe the chemistry of the molecule. You can see the chemistry actually here. I've written out the organic chemistry structure of this same sequence of deoxynucleotides, where you can see each position, there's an atom, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus. These are elements from the periodic table. This is chemistry that makes up our biology of who we are. The name deoxyribonucleic acid is simply a useful term to describe this chemistry. Take this individual nucleotide here that has a nitrogenous base adenine attached. Now there are four parts to the title deoxyribonucleic acid. First, there's the deoxy part. Next, there's the ribo part. Then there's the nucleic part. And then there's the acid part. Each of these four parts of deoxyribonucleic acid describe a specific part of this chemistry. For example, this part of the molecule here, called the phosphate group, can actually be acidic under certain conditions. This part of the molecule here is called a ribose sugar. I don't know if you know this or not, but sugars are also molecules. This part of the sugar right here is actually missing an oxygen atom. And the nitrogenous base structure we've already mentioned contains nitrogen. What I want you to tell me is which number from DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid as shown here describes which part of the chemistry of the deoxynucleotide. Now this could be a little tricky if you don't have a chemistry background, but I've tried to lay it out in such a way that makes it pretty straightforward for you to identify. So if you have trouble, just go ahead and take a guess and see if you can get it right. Put a number into each text box that you see here.